I have the honor to present the graduates from the graduate school. For the degree, Master in Public Affairs in Education Management. John Christian Yatko Lara. Patricia Maris Hilao Valencia. In Strategic Planning and Policy Studies. Cecinio Navales Belen Jr. Jan Ray Agus Filione. For the degree, Master of Development Management and Governance. Joan Almare Cajes. Jessa Pearl Cabrera Manalo. Chris Joven Mista Medalla. Edison Pisano Tuico. For the degree, Master of Arts in Sociology. Samantha Geraldine Gutierrez de los Santos. For the degree, Master of Science in Agricultural Chemistry. Florence Zeque de Juan in Agricultural Economics Hector Brian Pamanian Grama April Easter Sunday Jamie Dakigan Manuel in Agricultural Engineering Salvacion Napud Christi Monica Anonoy Filio In Animal Science Babylene Alday Moog Ricafort Henry Paralag Talu Seth Vincent Matias Valdez In Biochemistry Laster May Nobleza Serrano In Chemistry Rabi Flores Canglion Edsil Lee Ontolan Sala Mormi Joseph Felipe Sarno In Computer Science Jairon Fandialan Sarosa Catherine Loren Mejia Tan In Development Communication Sarah Jane Harencio Miranda In Development Management and Governance Iris Joy Mendoza Inchong In Entomology Kathleen Tasipit Dizon PJ Almonte Rehuso In Environmental Science Jeffrey Andrew De Leon Los Loso In Extension Education Kan Kanamalage Aruni Sriyani Tilakaratna In Family Resource Management Eileen Rose Borromeo Lanaka In Food Science Maria Cristina Romabiles Ilano In Genetics Rochelle Escobin Alcasi In Microbiology Julius Aaron 
Panigbatan Mejia. In Molecular Biology and Biotechnology. Jude Carlo Garcia Bolivar. Maria Hanna Santa Catalina Halcon. Sheila May Comighod Sagusay. Darwin Dagomboy Velarde. In Natural Resources Conservation. Heidi Jokno Pabalate. In Plant Breeding. Maika Benize Samsam Gregorio. Corinne Mira Mauricio Marfori Nazarea. In Plant Pathology. Charles Areza Castro. Justoni Obas Gailo. Christine Clapero Gonzaga. Elin Torres Macay. In Soil Science. Rosel Estera Madayag. John Lester Viscara Pide. Florinda Cagas Tiuan. In Statistics. Charina Crisel de la Cruz Tingson. In Veterinary Medicine. Rachel Sia Contillo. Randolph Bautista Tolentino. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Animal Science. Benjamin Rewell Gamboa Marte. Josephine Nisnisan Nokon. In Biochemistry. Yvonne Degay Bolayo. In Botany. Florence Roy Paklibar Salvania. In Development Studies. Lian Huije. In Entomology. Manilen Coles Alde. Gina Deyanon Balleras. In Environmental Science. Jabez Joshua Mabalay Flores. In Soil Science. Michelle Ann Magat Kalubakib. In Statistics. Lara Paul Abitona Ebal. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy by Research in Agricultural Engineering. Marie Ruena Castaneda Tanquilut. In Environmental Science. Anthony Balugay Obligado. In Forestry, Good Science and Technology. Juanito Peña Verde Jimenez Jr. For the degree, Master of Arts in Communication Arts. Nathaniel Nino Magpantay. For the degree, Master of Science in Development Management and Governance. Jenny Rose Dalwampo Manalo In Forestry, Forest Resources Management Anne Frances Venezuela Buhay In Forestry, 
Good Science and Technology. Oliver Segundo Marasigan. Jeric Fuentes Villarreal. In Genetics. Anne Elaine De Los Santos Wagan. In Veterinary Medicine. Sandy Ling Chu. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. In Community Development. Almira Guevara Magkawas. In Environmental Science. Efren Laguda Linan. For the degree. Master in Public Affairs In Education Management Alfredo Pertes Nabor Jr. In Strategic Planning and Policy Studies Maria Larue Escobin Balesfin Jorge Manuel Cortez Laude For the degree Master of Development Management and Governance In Development Management and Governance Revy Ann Grace Zuniga Polongbayan For the degree Master of Agriculture In Agronomy Alice Teta Congo For the degree Master of Arts in Communication Arts Christine Ann Contemplacion Corsega For the degree Master of Information Technology in Information Technology Christian De Jesus Dionisio For the degree Master of Management in Business Management Winston Bautista Alcalde Alexandria Camille Miguel Castillo Mark Anthony Fresnido Garcia Ray Chido Katagatan Pua Angelique Marasigan Reglos For the degree, Master of Science in Agricultural Engineering Cristel Marie Santos de la Cruz Jose Carlo Romain Dizon Clarissa Eliana Lavadilla Ilao In Agronomy Renalane Estenor Limosinero In Animal Science Kevin Roland Albufera Maranan Adelia Gafira Putri in Applied Nutrition Bat Sovani In Chemical Engineering Marco Leo Vega Gueta Ana Elaine Delfinado Matanggihan Kenneth Radan Pagdangana in Community Development Kimberly Joy Argueles Ilagan In Computer Science Russell Lazaro Villacarlos In Environmental Science Estelia Pawai Valiente Ashimir Boticario Velasco 
in food science. Christel Jun de Masuhid Sartagoda. In forestry, silviculture and forest influences. Michael Banaag Bigelme. Manilin Aloro Kamutuhan. William Melendres Esguera. In forestry, wood science and technology. James Edelbert Carillo Ramos. In genetics. Jan Pauline Marcelo Gabriel. In horticulture. Hannah Ronduen Azogue. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. In Agricultural Economics, Emily Gloria Pelicano. In Agronomy, Jason Osopelia Villamor. In Animal Science, Manuel Datig Gakutan Jr. Mikaelito Aquino Naldo In Development Communication Maria Teresa Deligan Gochuico Jonathan Belgara Gochuico Samuel Ayodele Ojorongbe Na Zao In Development Studies Lord Elise Balaod Dakuyan Huang Li Yumei In Environmental Science Emil Jan Calo Cabrera In Microbiology Lalaine Grace Mooring Maghanoy For the degree, Master in Public Affairs In Education Management Christian Laloon Banal Renel Pilyarama Karai Camille San Diego Karamay Mary Jane Francisco Gallardo Levelyn Go Nabor Rose Ann Ortega Torres In Strategic Planning and Policy Studies Apple May Cortez Panisales Charmaine Joyce Villanueva Sassi for the degree, Master of Development Management and Governance in Development Management and Governance John Kersey Placido Legaspi Pauline Lainet Averion Masungsong Herbert Kaagbay Molinyawe Daniel Jasmine Lanzanas Quiros for the degree, Master of Information Technology in Information Technology. Ricky Lee Bosita Menjola. Mark Wensi Pahe Yambao. For the degree, Master of Management in Agribusiness Management and Entrepreneurship. Kathleen Lapitan Tamisi. In Business Management. Sheila Marie Salgado Calderon. Mary Noemi Cruz Corales. K. 
Kenneth Christian Andaya Corok Zaide Villanueva Hernandez Jaceline Shokson Salvamante For the degree, Master of Arts in Communication Arts Joseph Ryan Juanata Halagat In Sociology John Patrick Pohanes Habakon For the degree, Master of Science in Agricultural Engineering Albert Mores Garcia Hanibi Samiliano Limbaro Jovelin Ligod Valencia In Agronomy Caterina Mojica Vargas In Animal Science Angelica Pineda Maderse Rafael Barun Nepomuceno In Applied Nutrition Ann Carriedo Cayetano In Botany Kalida Banu Katrin May Largado Matias in Chemical Engineering Eros Paul Valera Estante Rona Joyce Banaag Landoy In Development Communication Maria Victoria Manyalak Almazan In Economics Veronica Icaro Castillo Brian Jason Havok Ponce In Entomology Anthony Sazon Agravante In Environmental Science Christine Suarez Banalo Rainiel Brian Villanueva Domasian Arian Templo Nuevo Manlangit Pauline Manalad Manzanilla Richel Mantong Merencillo Raymond Paulo Casal Tirol Roxanne Ray Lomarda Valdestamon Mabel Gaviola Valiena In Food Science Iris Joy Villanueva Abrigo In Forestry, Forest Resources Management Marnga Orihenes In Forestry, Silviculture and Forest Influences Joel Onyebuchi Eze Maria Army Janica Pasahol Ramirez In Horticulture Alan Helico Ortiz San Pascual In Mathematics Kenneth Joshua Pantalion Sardan in Microbiology Floribel de Yauna Kerobin In Molecular Biology and Biotechnology Loriel Sanchez Macale Florabel de Yauna Kerobin Christine Joyce Oquias Quinones in Natural Resources Conservation
Nicole Maxine Elaco Apolinario Renz Marion Del Monte Gamido In Plant Breeding Kamal Bataray Graziela Borella Okias In Plant Genetic Resources, Conservation and Management Jess Brian Miller Alvarino Ison Ambag Kalimpang In Plant Pathology Jeremy Roy Augustus Insular Gomez Aira Flores Waje In Soil Science Mary Rose Laios Echavaria Leandro Dahay Ocasion In Statistics Nodelio Ortiz Bantillo In Veterinary Medicine Monica Nablog Gonzales Jeneline Tiberio Paredes Karen Shell Romero Santos In Wildlife Studies Carmi Irene Egot Pelone Frances May Bartolome Tenorio In Zoology Pretzel Jane Ohoylan Olor For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy In Agricultural Education Tesamar Yamas Espino In Agronomy Angeli Rose Leyes Lumba In Animal Science Leonilo Balais Abelia Roxanne Gregorio de Gula Barion In Botany Diana Panagiton Paguntalan In Development Communication Marife Ramos de Torres Marcosa Cuellar Piso In Development Studies Zoraida Villanueva Amper Nico Jason Cabrera Anastasio Ernesto Leison Bastida Jr. In Environmental Science Arnica Lorenzo de Guzman Mortillero Rebecca Ginumtad Wangdale In Extension Education Tirapong Wong Satan Leonel Da Costa Savior In Forestry Forest Resources Management Mary Ann Ramos Agudilla Mayla Yarena Niro In Forestry, Silviculture and Forest Influences Charlie Bumandag Batin Victor De Guzman Dizon Jr. In Genetics Darius Cruz Minoza In Microbiology Christopher Gulane Batbatan For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy by Research In Plant Breeding 
Florence Lasalita Zapico. For the degree of straight doctor of philosophy in development communication. Ulderico Bibat Alviola. Honored guest speaker, Mr. Ronald Daniel Mascarinas, members of the Board of Regents, officials of the University of the Philippine System, officials of the University of the Philippines Los Banos, headed by Chancellor Jose V. Camacho Jr., UPLB professors and staff, parents, friends, and fellow graduates, a pleasant day to all of you. Back in high school, I know that many of us here graduated with flying colors and were very confident of our academic skills. And I know that many of you share the same feeling as I do. Back then, I've always thought that I was good enough. I excelled in class, I was active in the student government, and I was very confident. But everything changed when I went into the university. I met a lot of new people with different backgrounds, different personalities, and different ideals. They were so great, and I even looked up to some of them. And eventually, there came the realization that I wasn't good enough. My confidence went downhill from 100 to 10. But instead of being discouraged, I used this as my inspiration. I am truly honored to be given this opportunity. But to be honest, I feel like someone else may be more deserving to be given the chance to speak. Someone with a much stronger background who can make a much bigger difference. Until I was reminded of what we have always been taught in the College of Development Communication, that we can serve as a medium to amplify the voices of those who cannot be heard, those who are not given the platform to speak. I am speaking now for my fellow graduates who strive hard to be here today, and the students who are struggling amidst the pandemic to get that long-awaited sublime moment, with the hopes of empowering them by speaking their stories. Before anything else, I want to say congratulations. I am proud of each and every one of you that despite the difficulties brought by this crisis, you still continue to brave all odds. I'm proud of you that despite the struggles of the remote learning setup, you still continue to embody honor and excellence. I am proud of you, that despite the limitations and inconveniences, you still continue to persevere as an scholar ng bayan in the pursuit of serving the people. I am proud of us. But behind all of these achievements and recognitions, we have to shed light to the fact that these remote learning setup is not manageable for everyone. Much has been said about the struggles, not only of the students, but also of the faculty and staff alike, and of every Filipino family who are too concerned to survive to even prioritize providing the equipment needed by their children to attend school. I have heard of students who until this day still lack access to resources for learning. I've had classmates who missed class for weeks as they were struggling to balance work and academics to provide for their needs. I've even known friends who are having a hard time focusing in their, in their studies due to inconducive work environments at home. And with the threat of the setup to continue long after the pandemic ended, we must amplify the need for a safe and accessible return to schools. It has been a year, but our call remains the same. I recognize the efforts and the adjustments made by the university and the professors to accompany our needs. Still, I am with you in advocating for Aligtas na Balik Escuela. This call does not only aim to address the prevalent inconveniences of the remote learning setup, but it is also geared 
towards letting the younger batches experience the LB student life that we came to love and cherish. The fun and adrenaline of running from one building to another to attend class. Arriving late for a quiz because your previous class was in Copeland. Climbing up the long flight of stairs just to visit the UHS. And of course, sharing these moments of struggles and wins with your friends. As graduates, let us stand in solidarity with the students who are still striving to get that supply. Moving forward, I would like to leave you three important reminders as we begin our journey beyond the walls of the university. First, be proactive. There is no doubt that the pandemic has changed the way we live, learn, communicate, and work. It is important to keep in mind that these changing times provide us an opportunity to develop innovative and agile adaptation approaches. We must continuously rethink the ways in how we can better serve the people. Second, be hopeful. Being here today has proven how hard work and determination allowed us to triumph against life's adversities. We all face different challenges that will test our zeal and resilience. We will encounter failures but we must not be defeated. Instead, we can use these defeats as our anchors to persevere. And finally, be kind, not only in deed, but also in words. Words are the most powerful force available to humanity. We can choose to use this force positively with words of encouragement or destructively using words of hopelessness. All of us has, has been through a lot, and some of us may be still going through a difficult time. Always speak and act in kindness, as we may never know how our actions and words would impact others. May we all carry these reminders as we fulfill our commitment to serving the Filipino nation and humanity with compassion and integrity. Fellow graduates, more than our acts of service inside a university, I hope that we can push forth this shared responsibility of empowering others towards a progressive and self-sufficient society. I enjoin you, UPLB graduates of 2021, to become the new torch bearers as we brave across this pandemic. Once again, congratulations! Padayon mga kapwa ko iskolar, lagit lagi para sa bayan. Mangyari pong itaas ang inyong kanang kamay at sumunod sa akin. Tapat akong sumusumpa bilang isang nakapagtapos sa Universidad ng Pilipinas. Nasisikapin kong maging karapat dapat sa karangalan at kumusayan ang aking universidad na isa sa loob ang mga bagay na mag-aakat sa aking kaisipan at pagkatao at mamamalaging nasa panig ng patas, kalayaan at katarungan. Alang-alang lahat sa paglilingkod sa bayan at sa sangkatauhan. Itaas natin ang kanang kamay at sumunod sa akin. Taos puso akong nanunumpa. Na isa sa kutuparan ko ng buong husay at katapatan. At walang pag-iimbot ang mga tungkuling nakaatang sa akin. Hilag ka sa amin sa mga nagtapos ng Universidad ng Pilipinas. Ipagtatanggol ko at ipaglalaban. Ang kapakanan ng Universidad na aking pinagtapusan. Ang Universidad ng Pilipinas. At ipapangako kong magiging matapat na nagtapos sa Universidad na ito. Sa lahat ng pagkakataon. Kaya tulungan nawa ako ng Diyos.
tinanggap sa PUPLB Alumni Association na mga nagsipagtapos, taos puso akong nanunumpa. Naisasakatuparan ko ng buong husay at katapatan. Ang mga tungkuling nakaatang sa akin. Pinakasabi ng samahan ng mga nagtapos sa Universidad ng Pilipinas, Los Baños. Ipagtatanggol ko at ipaglalaban. Ang kapakanan ng universidad na aking pinagtapusan. At ipapangako kong magiging makapat na kasabi. Nang samahang ito. Sa lahat ng pagkakataon. Kaya, kaya tumayin na ako ng
Isang mapagpalayang pagbati sa lahat ng mga iskolar ng bayan, guro, kawani, mga pamilya at kaibigan. Ating mataas na pagpugayan ang bawat iskolar ng bayan na sa buong tapang, dangal at husay ay nagsipagtapos sa Universidad ng Pilipinas, Los Baños. Sa huling araw ng pagiging estudyante natin sa pamantasan, kilalanin din natin ang lahat ng tulong na ibinigay ng ating mga magulang, mga kaibigan, at ng ating mga guro, na kahit mahirap ay hindi tumigil sa pagsuporta sa atin upang marating ang ating kinalalagyan. Mga kapwa ko iskolar ng bayan sa kabila ng matinding krisis pang kalusugan, nagawa nating makapagtapos ng pag-aaral dito sa ating pamantasan. Ngunit batid natin na napakaraming mga iskolar ng bayan ang hindi makapagpatuloy sa kanilang pag-aaral, kaya't kagyat na tungkulin natin ang patuloy na pag-iit para sa ligtas, dekalidad, demokratiko at abot kayang edukasyon, kasabay ng ligtas na pagbubukas ng mga paaralan. At habang pinaglalaban natin ang ligtas na balik eskwela, magbalik tanaw tayo sa ating kolektibong tagumpay sa nakaraang dalawang taon. Na bagamat hindi pisikal na magkakasama ngayon, ay nagawa pa rin tumindig at magsama-sama sa iba't ibang kampanya para sa mga demokratikong karapatan natin sa edukasyon. Noong Setyembre, nagawa natin mapagpasyang lumahok sa pagpili na magiging bagong Chancellor ng ating pamantasan. Kasabay nito, matagumpay nating napaaprubahan ang mga nakabimbing MRR at readmission cases at muli na makakabalik sa pag-aaral ang mga kapwa natin iskolar. Nariyan rin ang pagsasaaproba sa Student Crafted Organization Registration Guidelines kasabay ng pagpapabasura sa Freshman Recruitment Ban na siyang magpapalawig sa ating kalayaan na mag-organisa. Ilan lamang ito sa mga tagumpay na ibinunga ng ating kolektibo at militanteng aksyon. Hinahamon tayo ngayon ng panahon na tuloy-tuloy na kumilos at magpakilos upang maprotektahan ang karapatan at kapakanan ng mga iskolar ng bayan at mga mamamayang Pilipino. Inaasahan pa rin ang patuloy nating pagkilos dahil nariyan pa rin ang mga marahas na atake sa ating demokratikong karapatan na mag-organisa at magpahayag. Nitong Enero lamang, pinawalang bisa ng Department of National Defense ang UPDND Accords na siyang nagpoprotekta sa pamantasan laban sa paniniktik, pangaharas at iba pang pamamaraan ng paglabag sa karapatang pantao mula sa mga pwersa ng pamahalaan. Nilalagay nito sa piligro ang buhay at kaligtasan ng libo-libong mga mag-aaral, guro at kawani ng pamantasan. Bagamat mayroong signifikanteng pag-abante sa ating kampanya nang maipasa sa UPLB University Committee ang Safe Haven Resolution, hindi makakailan na sa labas ng ating pamantasan, sunod-sunod ang pamamaslang at pagsampa ng gawagawang mga kaso laban sa mga mamamayan ng Timog Katagalugan. Hindi natin makakalimutan ang mga martir na mga biktima ng Bloody Sunday Killings. Huwag na huwag rin natin kalilimutan na dahil sa kawalan ng maayos na tugon sa pandemya, nananatili ang banta ng COVID-19 at lugmok sa hirap gutom at sakit ang napakaraming Pilipino. Mga kapwa kong magsisipagtapos at sa lahat ng nakikinig, sa darating na pambansang halalan sa susunod na taon ay huwag tayong papayag na mahalal muli sa pwesto ang mga taong gutom sa kapangyarihan, mga komprador ng pandayuhang interes at mga magnanakaw na araw-araw winawasak ang buhay ng napakaraming Pilipino. At sa mga panahong nagsimula ng angkinin muli ng mga mamamayan ang lansangan, Patuloy tayong titindig upang isulong ang pambansa, siyentipiko at makamasang edukasyon para sa nakararami. Gawin nating inspirasyon ang inialay na buhay ni Larona Jane Manalo, Carlo Alberto, Mark Velasco, Ian Maderazo, Rizalina Ilagan, Jessica Sales at iba pang bayani ng sambayanan. Mga iskolar ng bayan, tumungo sa kanayunan, paglingkuran ang sambayanan. Iskolar ng bayan! Ngayon ay lumalaban! Ngayon ay lumalaban! Iskolar ng bayan! Namalaya muka Ay tiyang na matutupan Sa aking pag-alis Di kayo mawawalan 
ibong anak, lagi na magtaraan.